So beginning immediately, I'm going to be working with members of the Texas legislature, but also uh, members of our communities across the entire state of Texas uh, to begin uh, with uh, roundtable discussions beginning next week, where we will assemble all stakeholders uh, to begin to work immediately on swift solutions to prevent tragedies like this from ever happening again. We want to hear from parents. We want to hear from students. We want to hear from educators. We want to hear from concerned citizens. We want to hear from, from those who hold the Second Amendment right uh, in high esteem. We want to hear from everybody who has an interest uh, in what has happened today uh, so we can work to together on putting together laws uh, that will protect Second Amendment rights, but at the same time ensure that our communities and especially our schools are safer places. These include things like speeding background checks. They inc also include strategies to keep guns out of the hands of those who pose an immediate danger to others. They include providing more resources to our schools uh, to make sure that they have the safety personnel who can help protect their schools. It also means providing resources to address the mental health issues behind gun violence with a focus to reduce gun violence. It also means perhaps expanding a program uh, that we've seen work effectively in the Lubbock Independent School District where uh, they have ways of uh, measuring uh, mental health challenges of students and being able to identify those who may pose a risk and looking to deploy those strategies in school districts across the state of Texas.